You're never going to really get through to somebody who has the authority to do much. So I'll give you an example. If you call and say, hey, what happened with this? Why are you withholding my money? They'll say, well, because you violated these and these terms. Now go and fix it with a plan of action. Hey guys, I am Marcella Dominguez. If you are new here, I am a lawyer who helps small and medium sized companies and I also have my own e-commerce business. If you guys are interested in following that journey, make sure you scroll down into the description so you can find out what that business is. So in today's video, I am doing a follow-up on this video about why I am pissed at Amazon. And if you were in my shoes, I can almost be certain that you would be upset too. Do you ever feel like suing Amazon? Do you ever feel like a group of people should just get together and sue Amazon for all the things that they've done uh, to sellers? You see, last year Amazon withheld about four figures of our money and so we didn't really know why. We filed an appeal, we did everything that you're supposed to do when you're in that situation and believe me, I can tell you from experience and from talking to other Amazon sellers, I am not a lonely ranger. Lots of other people have been in this situation too. So if you're thinking about selling on Amazon, this is just your warning and it's the harsh reality of selling on Amazon. It is only a matter of time before you run up against a wall because trying to contact Amazon seller support can sometimes be a dead end. Though you will reach somebody who will kind of answer your questions, you're never going to really get through to somebody who has the authority to do much. So I'll give you an example. If you call and say, hey, what happened with this? Why are you withholding my money? They'll say, well, because you violated these and these terms. Now go and fix it with a plan of action. Plans of action are Amazon's favorite words. Almost a year later, and we were still in the same boat. And so we knew that we were definitely an anomaly because this just doesn't happen. The appeals weren't working. We had hired a few different companies. Anyways, you can understand why I was very pissed at Amazon. We finally got our funds released, like maybe, I wanna say it was like 10 days ago or so. So you can imagine after a year of them having our funds, yeah, I was really glad to just have the funds and to have a nice closeout to the year and just not worry about selling on Amazon anymore. Well, if you've been selling on Amazon already, you know that you have to have a credit card on file in order to be able to access any kind of dashboard in your account. So if you wanna be able to see your seller performance, if you wanna be able to contact Amazon seller support, if you wanna be able to see any of your metrics, just do anything at all on the Amazon platform, you have to have a credit card on file. And the credit card that's kept on file is of course different. Obviously you're gonna have a bank account where Amazon deposits any funds that they owe you, but then you're gonna have a credit card on file for any transactions that you make through that account or any expenses that you've incurred on that account. Anyway, a few days later, this past Friday, we received a notification that we had the same amount that Amazon had deposited back into our account was now charged on my credit card, on our business credit card. What? Like you're going to charge me as if I made this transaction or as if I used your platform for this amount of money? So it seemed so fraudulent, so shady, and just leaves a really bad taste in my mouth for what Amazon is doing or what Amazon is not doing behind the scenes to make sure that they're running their operations as efficiently and smoothly as possible. You don't go and you know deposit the funds that are owed to somebody after a year and then say, okay, now I'm going to charge your credit card for that same amount. I mean, in order to get these funds back, I had to go through their legal department, okay, where they agreed to disperse the funds. And they agreed to disperse the funds because there was no reason really why they should have kept it. But they're still making us go through these other hurdles to try and reactivate the account to sell on the platform. But we thought the reactivation of the account, we'll deal with that later. So to see this transaction, I'm like, what? Because I don't spend that kind of money First of all, I don't spend that kind of money in a single transaction on Amazon, so I knew it was impossible that I would have spent that. Secondly, when I realized that it matched the exact same amount that Amazon had originally credited back to us that was due to us, I thought, this is super fishy. And so, you know, this is just a follow-up video to why I am pissed at Amazon, why I think that some of their practices are just 
I mean, I don't understand. I almost feel like selling on Amazon is akin to selling at a flea market and not really selling on really established platform. I've sold on eBay before, I've sold on Etsy, Poshmark, Mercari, and I can tell you that Amazon so far is the one with the most headaches. And I have this huge distrust for Amazon to keep our funds for a year and then like fraudulently make this transaction on our credit card as if we owed them something. We don't owe them anything. So it's really a slap in the face. It's disgusting business practices. And although I will say that because I also purchase things on Amazon, from a buying perspective, yeah, it's nice and convenient to have all these products available and at your doorstep within two days, three days. But from a seller standpoint, I just feel like Amazon doesn't look out for their sellers one bit. And I can tell you that other Amazon sellers have been mad at Amazon for lots of other reasons, like same thing, withholding their funds, maybe for not as long as they've withheld ours, but withholding funds, you know, deactivating their account, allowing other sellers to infringe on their product, deactivating seller listing without really doing an investigation and knowing what's going wrong. So if you're selling on Amazon or you plan to sell on Amazon, just beware. Amazon can be a headache. Anyway, if you all want to know what happens, then let me know in the comments below what you think of the fact that Amazon has charged me the same amount that they had just deposited and they have no reason to withhold it. So tell me in the comments below your experience with Amazon, what you think about this, and if you're ready for the follow-up.